You know who it is. The whore flick, super six, dig a ditch, big Mitch. And I'm kicking in doors with 030s. And I'm bringing 28 101s because we Vegas sons. It's the Meadowlands. It's the Meadows, man. And y'all already know what's happening with it. Y'all already know I'm on them things with it. Y'all already know you scrubs needs to quit it. Bam! You can't hang with it. Nah. Welcome to Vegas Chronicles, man, with your man. The horror flick, Super 6, Big Mitch. And today, like any other day, man, we gonna talk them actual factuals, man, and kick this Vegas history, man. And uh, uh, shout out to Big, before I get started, shout out to Alexis, man, uh, Boney, man, and uh, everybody that been supporting me on my platform, man. You know, uh, I'm not trying to do what everybody else is doing on, on, on the internet. You know, uh, I'm trying to keep it organic, original, you know, and, 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 and do what I do, man, and talk about Vegas and not just Vegas, but, you know, we going to move on to other things, you know. Uh, this platform is going to be, you know, bigger than just that. You know, I don't want to just spend my whole thing talking about game bang. But I do want to send a shout-out to Big Alexis, man. Uh, happy birthday, Boney, man. And uh, I enjoyed the conversation we had. It's always good when, you know, two dudes from the old school, you know, you being a former Rolling 60, me being a former Gerson Park Kings, man, man, we could get together and get on the phone and laugh and talk about, you know, the good old days, man. And uh, it's sad that, you know, that, you know, uh, when we look at it, man, how, you know, you come off the block, man, and you one of the originals, man, and, you know, that's your family and how you break your, it broke your heart to see, you know, that, you know, when the Gersons in the 60s got into it, man, that was your family killing they, your family, you know, and. I understood how you felt, man, and I know why you left Vegas, man, and I don't blame you, man. Shout out to Boney, man. He a real one, man. Day one. Uh, <clears throat> today, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, I asked some questions, you know, and, and you know, it, it's like people ask me the same questions over and over again. I don't know why, man, because I feel like I'm answering the same questions. It might just be me, but I feel like I be answering the same questions over and over again. But, uh, Somebody asked me, uh, when it come to the, uh, uh, Crips, you know, uh, I guess we go do the Crips. Okay. When it come to the Crips, who was the most influential names when it came to, 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 to gang banging, when, when it come with the Crips and, you know, I'll be on here all day, you know, trying to, you know, tell you who was the, you know, hardest when it came to Crips, you know, I did the hand guy series when it came to fighting, but you know, when it come to putting in work. And just having legendary names, I'm not just gonna do the Crips. That ain't that ain't cool. What I do is I just I just say names that I think, this, and this is only my opinion, because it's gonna be pit. I'm not gonna be able to get everybody, you know. And um, I would say the the, the the most influential names, as far as putting in work of my era, and that I can really just you know say, man, yeah, you know. First, you know, the first one I'm going to start off with is myself. You know, that's it's self-explanatory. Everybody know me and my work speak for itself, so I don't have to speak on it. Okay? And then I would say people like I say bread. The reason why I say bread is because bread was unique. Bread was the first one I hit jacket for Dayton's. You know, and people didn't even know the uh, expensiveness of, uh, of Dayton's until bread started taking them. He was a cold jacker. Okay? He was a he was a he was a beast. So I say bread. I get bread beast mode. Uh, on a on a danger scale, I get bread. Get bread. Get a bread. Get a nine point five. Bread was a beast. Um, I say uh, uh, that was just um, these beasts. Now uh, uh, you got to get to the boy Ewak from White Street. You know he's a beast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I would say. Uh, uh, Keith Carter from the hood was a beast. You know, Hair Carter from the coast was a beast. I would say Donna Ray Page, you know, when he, you know, he'll put that work in. Danny McCoy will put that work in. Uh, uh, Seaweed will put that work in. Tony Swanson put that work in. Maurice, the uh, Swanson's period put that work in. Stacy Macamo, the Macamos, they put that work in. Um, I say, uh, uh, you get you when you go in regular states, you know, you know, you got old schools over there like Gene Fisher and Blue Mile M, you know, but them hand guys when it came to put putting that work work in, you know, K Dog, Gunsmoke, you know, you got dudes like Eagle, Blue Devil, 
You know, they, they, they put their work in. You know, they was, they was about their life, man. You know, uh, then you got, you know, the B-Dogs, Tony Poole, you know, Lay. You had Larry Brown, you know, uh, Pac-Man, you know what I mean? Uh, man, sh Fish Mouth. Uh, you had some beasts, man. Fortune, you know, um, uh, uh, Birdies from the hood. Uh, you know, you had uh, Stem Nut, uh, Big Ten Ounce. You know what I'm saying? From Playboys, man. You had some beats. Moosey Montana from uh, uh, 50s. Kiki Lope from 50s. Uh, you can't forget uh, Mun from 50s. Herb B from 50s. They were some riders over there, man. You know, uh, and Carrie Arms. You know, you had Tricky T. You know, you had uh, Terrell Pearl. You had Trick Freak. You know, uh, uh, I think the most vicious K9, though, to me, was Richie Rich. You know what I mean? Richie Rich was the most vicious one up over there. You know, and then you have figures like uh, Stick, Kool-Aid, uh, Mook, uh, Lil Draws, uh, Big Nutty, Looney, J. Lou. You know, you have riders up over there too, you know. Then you have Big Wrecking Ball. You have uh, Boo Loco, uh, a Hot Top, you know, uh, Triple Seven. You know, you have some, these some legendary names. And then you can get to the essays. See, like He Man, Cricket, Lil Man, Diablo from Los Hermanos, Eddie Salinas, uh, uh, Tiny from Little Jeff from Little Locos, Cyclone from Little Locos, Peanut from Little Locos, you know, um, uh, Danny Boy from Sanchucos, uh, uh, Angel from Sanchucos, Trickster from Sanchucos, you know, you had some, some, some Beast Angel Boy from 28th Street. You know, um, 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 uh, Tim from 28th Street, Panther from 28th Street, uh, Flacco from 28th Street. Um, then you had the KBs, you know. Um, I don't know too many of them, them Vietnamese, and they got names you cannot pronounce. I'm Listen, for real, they, I knew one of them. His name was Steve Sumpumpadaki. Steve Sumpumpadaki. That was his name. I can't, but there was some little short, they was cold, and they was 20, they was getting 28th Street, the business, you know, the KBs, you know, then you had, you know, people like Otto Kaufman, Flipside Pinoy, you know what I'm saying, Butch, Flipside Pinoy, Scrappy, Flipside Pinoy, Gang, Flipside Pinoy, you know, these legends, man, you know, even the Reboys from Jason Gallagher, Hollywood, you know what I mean, uh, 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 my, my cousin, Corey Allen, you know what I mean, um, uh, Big Looney from Reed Boys, you know, you had, you, that's Gold Bar Posse, you had some, some legendary figures from over there, man, you know, and even off White Street, you know, you're not just E-Wack, you got D-Dub, you know, you got, you got Noel, you got Tiger, Cheese, you had some, you got Lunatic, you had some, some Beast over there in the village, you know, Mac Blast and all them, you know, Big Mark, you know, Speck, all them up over there, you know. Um, you had some, some figures, the Sue, you know, you know, you had Roosevelt, you had Snow, you know, you had Chill, you know, Weeze, you know, Big Meech, even though Meech ride with the old, but he from the Sioux, you know what I mean? You got Quando from Paru, Woody, you know, Slow Pony, JB, Slick, uh, Slick P, you know, Spanky Boo, you know, Earn P, you had some beast up over there, man. Lil Bad from PB, you know what I mean? Daytime, Stem Nut, Beast, you know. 50s, you had Monster Poop, Dim Valley View. You had Buzz, you had Big Looney. You had Maurice, you know what I mean? My cousin Mackie, you know. You had, you had, a, you had, you had Beast, man. You had Beast, man. So, you know, when it come to, to Vegas, we had name figures. You know, we had, man, we had dudes out here that was legendaries. And then when he come to jacking, you had to, you know, had people like Head Golden, Roger West. You know, you had, you know, Big Cheetah, break yourself. You know what I mean? Everybody remember Big Cheetah, you know. And then you had the lock horse down there in the hood, you know what I mean? You had a, a bunch of dudes, man, uh, 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 Big Head, you know what I mean? Odie, you know, uh, Leonard Harvey, rest in peace. You know, you had a, you had some beats down there. Dino, GQ Dino, you know, Anthony Mason, Bobby Bailey. You know, you had some riders, you know. 
I get that. You had Ted, you know, Slick Rick up over there, uh, uh, PB Turf. You had Danny Boy, you know, Big Mark, you know, legendary figures, you know. And then you got, uh, you know, you got the wax, you know. I mean, I'm not going to get all up into that. You got the brownies, you know. You got, it's a bunch of people out here in Vegas, man, that had names. So when you talk about influence in the game, man, I just gave you a bunch of names, you know, and then there's people that I didn't name, like Big Alexis, Big, Big, Big Alexis, S. Hog, Big Nice, you know, Reverend Ballhead, John Holloway, you know what I mean, it's, it's, it's so many, man, it, I mean, come on now, C. Rob, Pharrell, Coach Stevie, O.C., you know, Al Wack, you know, Dread Mac, you know, it's so many, um, Tyrone Daughtery, it's so many dudes that's from Vegas, man, that got names, you, you know, it's just, it's crazy. You know, but one thing that, you know, uh, we can't lose, you know, focus of, because I talk about, you know, people with names. And I named some legendary figures, you know. And and I can't, you know, forget the Red Max. You know, I got to give it to the Torture Chambers. You know what I mean? I got to give it up for them. I can't forget them, you know what I mean? Or, or, or you know, if uh, I got it's, it, I got to be careful, you know, the, the main Chaneys, the GQ main Chaneys, the GQ Googies, you know what I mean? Uh, and see these legendary figures, the Scarfaces, the Montana Maxes, the Milos, you know what I mean? The KBs, the Clints, you know, the Big Bows, the Big Reds, you know, I can't, all these people, these is legendary figures that are Vegas, you know, and each one of them played a part, you know. And you got to give it up. You know, I'm from the era of the mini trucks, the sprees, you know, back during that era, you know. So I was with it before it got cracking and when it got cracking, you know, when Stop and Shop was Stop and Go, you know. I ain't going to forget about Big L them up over there, the War Babies. Big L was a, a hand guy, a knockout artist, you know, War Baby Buck, Bo Jurgens, all them from the view. You know, you can't forget about them too, you know what I mean? You know, Gary, uh, G-Force, you know, Light Pole, you know, Boy, you know, uh, Buzzo, you know, Myra, Tiptoe, Hefty, rest in peace. You know what I mean? Ice, rest in peace. Joe Cooley, rest in peace. You know what I mean? Uh, Keystone, you know what I'm saying? All these dudes, man, all these, look, man, Terrible T up out of Crip City, Feel Cool up out of Crip City, Big D up out of Crip City. Look, these is legendary figures of Vegas, man. Legendary figures of Vegas. Okay, so my thing is, we know about that. But what about this here? Let's not focus on people known for doing the wrong things. Let's focus on people known for doing the right things. What about them people? When y'all go ask me, I love to answer them type of questions and talk about the Frank Hawkins, the Ricky Barlow's, yeah, let's talk about them type of people, the Leon Austins, the Regina Cowards, you know what I'm saying, the Fields, the David Barnett, the people that grew up in the same hoods that we did, that grew up under the same conditions that we did, but chose to do the right thing still. Let's talk about them because they had influence too, and they had the right influence, and if we would have went their route, we wouldn't have been going through what we've been going through, and a bunch of us would still be alive. We never thought about that. Why are we so eager to focus on the wrong thing? Yeah, we, I mean, we was in the streets and we we murdered each other off. We made it unhabitable to be at where we was. We spray painted everything up. We, come on, yeah, we did all that. We succumbed to our vices, which was drug use or whatever it was. We was in and out of prison. You know, the lucky ones, the other ones was being buried somewhere. You know, I mean, yeah, we could talk about that. But what about the other people, man? That was it that come from the same neighborhood that went to them same funerals, but decided not to retaliate, not to make matters worse, not to even indulge in that bull crap. It's a bunch of us that witnessed that. I gotta I gotta I gotta listen. Victor Sanders. I straight up out of Herbie Gersh. Don't got a nothing, nothing on this record. I'm not even talking about Phil, Victor Sanders. Watch me grow up, change my diapers. Him and his brother, Freddie. They got a brother named Lil John too. Mama named Eva. Good family, grew up in, we all grew up in Garen Circle. 
That man ain't never broke the law in his life. Every time we had a football game with the Donna Street Crips, he played with us. But that man ain't never, ever broke the law. Never broke the law. Always had a job. Never went to jail. Straight up out of Herbert Gerson. Represented everything that Herbert Gerson was about, but in a good way. In a good way. Shout out to the ones that never went to the penitentiary. See, let's talk about them type of people, the Twixes, the Hen Hens. Let's talk about them, the ones that tried to make the positive change that come from the background we come from, but they did it the right way. See, them the people that got the real influence. We could talk about gangbangers and all that stuff, but we the ones that led our children down the wrong path, and that's why everything is the way it is now. That's why they're out here acting like they acting the way they're acting now. And you got men like Stephen Horsford, who grew up on a WIC program. He benefited off the WIC program. He was poor just like you, and look at him now. So you can't tell me it can't be done. So why, when you ask me questions, and I, and I want you to ask me questions, and I want to tell you how the origins of this happened if I can, and I want to tell you how this happened or started if I can. But at the same time, let's not just make this just a, a gang channel because I don't want to be just a gang historian. I'm more than just that. Vegas Chronicles is more than about that, man. Let's focus on the positive, too. It's a lot of positive people out there that deserve the same type of recognition too because they had influence too because even though you had people that pulled this way, you had other people that pulled that way. You know? And I'm going to tell you something. David Barnett, I grew up, he, he changed my pampers too. His brother Thomas, uh, Steve, it's all family, man. I know it's all family, you know mine. And Ever since I was a, a baby, since the time I started hollering GPK, he was always on my helmet. Boy, what you doing? Pull your pants up. Where you, where, where you going? He used to, I used to be, listen, I used to be shirked out my mind. He used to be up over there because my grandma couldn't do nothing with me. She'd be crying. He'll come up over there and get me. I remember I bust the window out. Shirked out. David Barnett got me up over there trying to get me to take some mustard. I'm not finna eat no damn mustard. But he got me over there was trying to take it. But he was trying to help me. Ever since he known me, when I used to go up to do little to cause trouble, he used to be right there like he knew. He could, it, was, it was like he knew I was coming. He'd be right at the door to, get, to greet me. Where you going? Come here. Oh, uh, come here. He making sure I'm in there right. I ain't got nothing I ain't supposed to have. And that was love. See? He wasn't trying to give me no pistol. He wasn't trying to do. He wasn't trying to do none of that. He was trying to make sure I was right. And he come from where I come from. That's love. So why not focus on them people that's retired from their job? These dudes went and got jobs. They had the audacity to get jobs. We had the audacity to go get criminal records. We became habitual criminals. These dudes right here didn't retire from their jobs. City jobs, state jobs, county jobs. They retired. Pimping them. They don't even say that. You can't say that on, on, on excuse my friends. I don't even say that. But they waiting on the mailman. They waiting on the mailman. Yeah. Let's talk about that influence. You know, because... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you, man. This this gang life that 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 we talk about, and you can find so much of it on these platforms, and you notice how they always end with somebody being told on or telling on themselves. That's how it always ends. Listen to any 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 vlog on this on this internet and listen to a gang case and watch how it ends. It's gonna end. With that dude being told on either by his own or he going to end up telling on himself by bragging about it or he going to do something wrong. They go put a, a, a somebody in there, a cell with him and then, you know, 
and it never fails. They always tell on themselves and they end up with 50 to life, 27 to life, all this to life. That's how it always ends. So knowing that, we need to teach that to these young. That's how that's going to end. This life that you think that you live in that's so cool. When you got to pay the consequences. See, when you live in a mansion or when you live in a house and you don't own that house, because don't none of y'all own y'all hoods that y'all claim. Don't none of y'all own them. And if you do, don't nobody live over there. But don't nobody own y'all. Y'all don't own them hoods. So you rent, right? Just like every apartment you rent, you got to pay rent at the end of the month to live there. So to live that lifestyle that you live in, you're going to have to pay the consequences eventually. See? You can't stay in an elaborate house without paying for it. You not go live a destructive way of life without paying for it. It go the same way. You can't live that way forever and not pay for it. See? So when you gang bang, or when you run around with gang members, you go eventually pay for it in one way or another. Ask the people that chose not to. You don't got to take it from me. Ask the people that chose not to run around with gangbangers that sat back and watched what happened to gangbangers. Ask them, am I lying? Ask them, am I lying? See? So when we talk about influence, let's talk about people with the right influence. Okay? I mean, we could talk about, you know, how this and how that started, you know. And, and, and there's one more thing. A lot of people got in their feelings when I spoke about, you know, I made a comment. And, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, disrespect no one. This ain't what this is about, man. I have a right to my opinion when I said that the alley shots was a click and not, and, 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 and not you know, from the G's. My thing is this here. If you talk about facts and truths, you know, I mean, it's going to be people that ain't going to want to accept harsh realities, you know, and I, and I was keeping it real, you know, I mean, let's just keep it 100, man. The, I'm not, you know what, they whatever they want to be. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> they, they, whatever they, my thing is, to me, it's all stupid anyway. Whatever you want to be, you, 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 you can claim it. I ain't none of that. So if that's what y'all want to be, then that's what y'all want to be. But I know the truth. You know what? I know the truth. When we were doing the quarterons at Piggy's Park, what was that for? Everybody remember the quarterons at Piggy's Park? Huh? Oh, let's talk about that. The quarterons at Piggy's Park. When everybody, remember we made the thing and we did this for like a week straight. We met at Piggy's Park. And people had to get courted back on. And we were doing cordons. Why? What was the what was the purpose of that? What people weren't putting in no work? They weren't putting in no work after that. But what came about of that? Who idea was that? See? Who idea was that? Let's just keep that real. And we ain't gonna we gonna leave it at that. Okay? We're going to leave it at that. But I was in a little alley with Big Bread, Tombstone, Polly Mac, Pimp, Quasi. Bip was over there, but he hung with Pokey G. Ballhead, Red Ballhead used to be over there. DMC used to be over there because Tammy stayed over there. His girl. Amp stayed at the end. Rochelle and Michelle from the block stayed up over there. Tracy, Fee sister from 40 block stayed up over there. Yak, the homie stayed up over there. Greg, Alwack, Jimmy and all them, they stayed up over there. So what is y'all talking about, man? Alley shots. We was up over there first. In the original alley. That y'all claim y'all claim. What y'all was. That's all I'm saying. 
I just named everybody who was up in that block. Who was, who was, who was, in, the, who was in the alley. I just named everybody who was in the alley. Hard tackle them. Tara. Randolph's sister. Come on now. I just named everybody that was in the alley. Where all these other people was. Right. See, I was the, I was out there when Luke Bray used to come outside and go, err. I never knew what that meant. And he used to laugh, err. I never knew what that meant. But now I do. And so do y'all. And look, Bray. I mean, we both men. We, we come over here, come on and lie. And tell them what herb mean and what herb come from. Because that was a means of us communicating. We bust all the lights out in the alley, remember? You could even see down there. So that's how we communicate by go err. See? And err came before the word alley shot. We was going err before there was the alley shot was even even it was even a term. We was going err. And when they start 86 in the G's about the Gershon, that's when Tony Polk used to be, hey, let's take it to the alley shot. See, that's where that come from. We just turn. Now, whatever happened after that, I'll let y'all tell that story because.